This training video will help you to test the crosshairs of your camera mask. The easiest way to test is in a pool with a buddy. Steady yourself underwater, then indicate with a thumbs up, thumbs down, or OK once the lens is on you. If you both have a camera mask, repeat the process again and have your buddy indicate where your lens is pointed. You can spend some time fine-tuning this process. The most important point is to note where the crosshairs are in relation to your subject once your buddy gives you the OK. If you do not have a buddy to help you on this test, you may also use a light or a drain in the pool. The position of the crosshairs in relation to your subject changes depending on your distance from your subject. For this reason, it's a good idea to run tests at multiple lengths. Start close, for example, arm's length. Your particular camera may not focus at this distance. So this test may familiarize you with the focal length of the model that you own. Record an image where your subject is high in relation to the crosshairs. Record one that is centered and one where the object is low. Take a couple steps back and repeat the test with the high, medium, and low images. Then take a couple more steps back and repeat the process again. Once you've completed the test, head indoors to download and check your files. You may find that the center of your field of view may lie below or even above your crosshairs. Your particular field of view depends upon your physical characteristics in addition to the distance you are from your subject. You may also choose to wear a snorkel and perform these tests at the water's surface. Whichever method you choose to test your camera mask field of view, it's a good idea to spend some extra time playing in shallow, calm water while recording a variety of subjects on both still image mode and video. This way, when you do go out on an adventure for scuba diving or snorkeling, you will have a good idea of where the crosshairs are in relation to your subject.